Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I am a fourth a generation witch. I am often asked by many people what exactly is Wicca and so I thought I'd better give you a beginner's guide to the ancient yet modern practices of Wicca. So I'm going to give you an overview of what I find Wicca to be. I'm not a Wiccan myself, but I have researched this fairly extensively and do understand its principles. But if I'm wrong, I want you to let me know in the comments below because, you know, however, this is a beginner's guide to it. So I'm just going to cover the basics. So the first thing to ask ourselves is what is Wicca? Well, essentially Wicca is a nature based religion that focuses on the changing seasons and being in balance and harmony with the earth. It is not about devil worship and it is not about casting spells on people. That is not what Wicca is. It is a peaceful religion that focuses on the masculine and the feminine deities, the twin godhead or whatever god or goddess that you should choose and looks at living with them in balance, in peace and in harmony. It is a religion with many, many diverse traditions. Practitioners of the religion can worship in covens or they can be individual practitioners. It's very much up to the person doing the practitioning. It is one of those very inclusive religions. So if you are more attracted to the male masculine deity, then you can base your craft around the male godhead. However, that male godhead appeals to you. Likewise, if you like the feminine side of things, you can go to the feminine deity and worship the goddess. This begs the question, who are the god and the goddess? The god represents the masculine energies of the universe and the goddess represents the feminine energies of the universe, quite simply put. They can be pretty much any deity that you feel drawn to, whether it be the pagan deities of Sinumnus or the triple goddess Hecate. It is up to the practitioner to decide who they like to worship, and there is a huge pantheon of deities to choose from. Wicca emerged in the mid 20th century and it was really brought together by the very forward thinking Gerald Gardner. He was the one who put the dogma of the religion into practice, dogma being its, you know, its core beliefs and rituals. And he was also helped in this matter by the great Doreen Valiente. It is based on ancient pagan practices and the writing of many occultists, not least that very strange mystic Alistair Crowley. So there is an awful lot of previous history that has gone into forming this religion. The general framework that Wicca falls under is based upon three principles. The first is the Wiccan read, and if it causes no harm, do as you will. It's very similar to the Doctor's Creed, isn't it? Do no harm. And they're essentially saying, you know, get on with it. Whatever you want to do, as long as it doesn't hurt another, then, well, go for it. The second sort of core belief is that whatever energy that you expound out into the universe, be it good or be it bad, you'll receive that back threefold. So should you go around casting a spell on someone to stop them interfering in your life, then you will find that you will have major influences preventing you from interfering in anybody's life. And the final belief is, of course, the um, masculine god, often represented by the horned deity, and the feminine goddess, often represented by a moon goddess. So those are the three core beliefs of the Wiccan religion. But what are the main practices of Wicca? Well, I think the most important is probably the following of the Wheel of the Year. As I said, Wicca is a nature-based practice, and the Wheel of the Year is a set of eight festivals, or Sabbaths, that celebrate the changing cycle of nature. Some of them you will have heard of, such as Halloween, Midsummer, 
Yule, and others you might not be so familiar with, such as Mabum or Beltane. However, these are essentially the framework within which a Wiccan celebrates their practice. The second thing that Wiccans do is to cast a circle. Now, this is not just a Wiccan tradition. This is a tradition that goes through most religions, casting a circle. It's banishing negative energy and creating a sacred space within which to practice. And finally, Wiccans use spell work and magic. And this is in order to manifest their intentions and often they'll incorporate the use of crystals and natural elements such as wands into this in order to do so. Wiccans tend to use tools to help them in their practice such as the athame, the chalice, the pentacle, wand, cauldron, very much depends on the practitioner. These are not magical objects in themselves. However, what they actually do is help the practitioner focus their energy through these objects to bring about their intent. They are often kept sacred and special and cleansed and only used for the purposes of magic. Well, how would you become a Wiccan? Well, this is very simple. You just choose to be a Wiccan and say, I'm going to be a Wiccan. Some people do like to have an indoctrination ceremony for themselves or if you're going to join a coven. Now, I really recommend joining a coven. I'm part of a coven myself and it really does help my abilities, my magic and my um, outlook on how magic works. It really increases my experience with magic. If you don't know where to start, I suggest going on Facebook and looking up Facebook covens in your local area. I guarantee you'll find a few. It is a huge deal. Wicca is one of those up and coming religions. It is much more popular and much more accepted. People also ask me, what's the difference between a Wiccan and a witch? Well, I am a witch, but I'm not a Wiccan myself because I don't practice religion. And that is just the way I like to live my life. It doesn't mean that I don't believe that there are gods and goddesses out there. I absolutely do. I just don't choose to incorporate them into my practice. So, I mean, Wicca has grown in a huge popularity through the world, with many practitioners embracing its nature-based spirituality. And people are drawn to its focus on personal and spiritual growth. It is very much about you and how you would like to go out and live your life while celebrating the cycles of the earth. Wicca is a charming religion. I love its creeds and its philosophy of personal growth and do no harm. However, I myself am not a Wiccan. I am a traditional witch, and in fact, I don't follow any religion. Having been brought up, I think I'm, I think I'm slightly scarred from having been, you know, forced into religion throughout my childhood years. Possibly, who knows. If you would like to join a coven and don't want to be uh, in a Wiccan one particularly, come and join mine. It is on Patreon at the moment and we are having a blast. I promise you, you will learn so much and meet lots of like-minded people. What do you think? Are you a Wiccan practitioner? Do you agree with what I've said? I would love to hear your comments and thoughts. Otherwise, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps my channel and means I can carry on making these videos about Wicca and all sorts of other interesting topics for you. And in the meantime, I will see you in a few days. Yeah.